Okay guys, lens here. So I have two fans here before me. And I just wanna let you know that if in this case your fan is not working, your desktop fan is not working, as you can see, I currently have a Dell fan here. So my computer is a Dell computer and I have this fan. Yes, in size, there are different sizes and I'm just doing this for this tutorial because someone asked me to do this video I do this all the time so if we have two fans that is the same size yeah we can go ahead and basically if you use these two fans they will just work perfectly in this tutorial so what i'm gonna say is that i pull this fan from my old computer system yeah and i have this one which stopped working and it stopped working we don't have any dell fan whatsoever to replace it with and so we are going to do a method so that we can get to use our computer yeah by doing so you want to cut the four wires as you can see there's a white red black and blue and you want to cut these wires also and you want to join these wires on this piece of wire to go into your computer so we join we join in the red to the red the black to the black the blue to the blue and the white to the yellow yeah when you do this it will work perfectly but your computer will not recognize your fan due to the fact that the board that is in the fan system that should connect with your motherboard it is not sending the right data to your board because it is not a Dell fan so we will get wrap power from our board our fan will work but it will not detect this is a way how you can go in about fixing quick fix your fan system yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and show you my computer so this is my computer and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on as you can see it is a Dell yes it's turning on and now I get an alert saying CPU fan failure this is this is the error that you will get and if you can hear the fan is working perfectly the fan is working perfectly you can hear the fan spinning so what we're gonna do we're gonna hit F1 and we're gonna use our computer the only problem that we would get is just that a lot saying that there's a CPU fan fail our fan is working fine and our computer will work fine and we can probably order a new fan and we can use this method until our new fan arrive or we can use this method as long as we want to it will not fail you yeah I've been doing this for months so guys I'm just putting this one out there and I know you guys can hear the fan spinning behind there so I'm gonna open my computer and show you the way I join the wires in my Dell computer so if you like this video if this was a helpful video I would just like you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button yeah 
subscribe i'm gonna shut down and then i'm gonna open my computer and show you the way i connect the wires for the fan so this is a dyi fan quick fix to get your fan up back and running for your computer system normally a lot of these fans they are always around they are always wherever they are old computers other devices other electronic system which would contain fans like these so i know that some of you who suffered a fan failure can find a old fan and use it in your computer system yeah so i'm gonna go and turn off i'm gonna pause the video and resume okay guys so this is inside my dell computer and as you can see my fan there i just want to let you know that when you look at the dell wire this fan has two wires so as you can see normally the dell fan would have four wires i join the black to the black and the red to the red as you can see here and also i pluck out the remaining unnecessary wires there as you can see the three spaces for the three remaining wires so this also can be done and your computer will work perfectly as i said before i have been using my computer for months and i'm not gonna buy a new fan anyway so guys i'm just putting this one out there this is a very informative information and i would just say that if you don't mind the error it is okay to use a different fan for your computer system but you need to ensure that your computer fan is almost big as the one that you replaced it with you need to ensure that your fan is pushing enough breeze to cool down the heat sink as you can see here so guys subscribe to my youtube channel i am lens and i'm gonna keep pushing informative information out there i'm out